Boom. All right. Uh, good night. Uh, good night. Uh, this is Sherex Mobility interviewing our very first customer who leased, started a lease with a car more than uh, four years ago. And uh, now he is on his way to owning the car. He wanted to own the car after uh, yeah. the lease was done. So uh, tell me your name, sir. Well, my name is X-Ray. People know me as X-Ray. Okay. And I, I recently changed my name to Enzinga. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> And uh, what is your uh, business? Well, I'm, I'm a, I work for myself. Okay, entrepreneur. Have, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm entrepreneur. All right. What made was, you decide to go for a car? An um, electric car. The electric car, especially. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because um, first of all, Jamal did give me a test test drive. Oh, okay. Yes. And after I get a test drive, I went and I did some research. Okay. On the same car. And when I was researching. It told me that for charge on my bill, from zero to full charge is $3. That catch me already. <laughs> and, but that, that's in the United States. Ah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I compare it to here in St. Martin, it wouldn't be not much, no. not much more. And then I realized that for service, there's no engine. That's correct. And yep. I, at that time, I had, I had a, a SUV, mm -hmm. a Nissan SUV. And I know how expensive it is to service your car every three months. And the parts. Yes. So you got to buy parts plus service. Yes. So I was trying to get away from all of those things. Okay. okay. And buying this car yeah. helped me to do that. Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing about the car? The favorite thing about it is that um, it's small. It got power. Yeah. Easy for parking. Yeah. And um, I don't have to worry about the engine, okay. engine service and engine breaking down. And, okay. good, and good. since I got it, I got it for four years now. Yes. And for the four years, all I do with it is um, change tires. Okay. And you had it four years, that means is you went through Irma. Yeah. Tell me what happened there. Yeah, with Irma, <laughs> I, was off, I was off island. I was in France. Oh, okay. And the car didn't get a, a scratch. Luckily, because when it was parked it inside, you parked inside. No, outside. But my son SUV was parked next to it, next mm -hmm. to it, and my wife SUV was parked. So okay. it's like it protected. Protected. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. How, how did the car, how did the other cars do? They get broken windows. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but it, it seemed like that was so small, everything passed over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was good. That was good. Not a scratch. Um, and what's the thing you? Have the name any issue or any problem you you think that um, you can, that you, if you can't think of anything that's okay. Well, no, the honest thing that I I um, would be um, well, what would you change? If worry about should I say worry is that if anything um, go wrong with it, do we have mechanics to fix it? You know. That, that kind of, but then being that they don't have an engine, I say, well, <laughs> should it should have been not much. Yes, yes. Unless there's electrical situations, you know. Okay. Yeah. So those are only things that have me would, would, would think twice. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what would you, so let's say you were trying to get another car. Would your next car be electric or would you not do? 100%. 100%? I tell everybody, okay. I, if I could afford it, uh -huh. and if I could, um, Make it happen. Yeah, I would never go back to gas. Okay, okay. And you charge. Most times you charge at home. At home. Yeah. If you ever like you, sometimes you, you. I think maybe once or twice you've come to our yes our our location here. Right. And uh, plugged in one time or two or twice. Yeah. Uh, Some, and have you ever been to Simpson Bay or? No. Okay. The only place that I go besides home is here. Okay. Okay. Um, good, good. Because I learned to I learned to monitor yeah. and estimate my my distances. Ah, do you plug every night? I plug every night now. Every night you plug. Yeah. Okay. Before when I just got it, mm -hmm. um, no, I used to plug like every other day. Okay, it's good enough to go yes. nonstop with no problem. Yes. Okay. But it seems like, um, and I think I understand. It's similar to a telephone. Yeah. When you get a telephone brand new, yeah, your battery lasts it's longer. Long time. Yeah. Yep. 
And when your phone started to get old, mm -hmm. your battery would die off faster. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's what the, 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 where I am right now. Okay. And here's the question that I'm sure a lot of people who have gas cars always wonder. You ever run out of charge? Yeah. Okay. What happened? <laughs> yeah, whatever one, whatever story you want to tell me, you don't tell me all of them? You don't tell me any if you don't want. But no, <laughs> I... I what, ha what, what, do you, what do you do when that happened? When that happened... Um, I used to be scared before, hmm. but I'm not scared no more because I get to learn the car. First of all, I learned that if I pace myself properly, it wouldn't burn gas as fast. And then if I time it good, when I'm going down any slope or any hill, I pick back up my charge, you know? And then I get to learn again that even if it stopped with me, I leave it off for a little, two, three, four minutes, start it back again, and I'll get the distance. It's going to cut off again. <laughs> I leave just it like off. a phone. Yeah, just, just like a phone. Yes. I've done that with my phone before where it boop, and you're just like, oh, let me just sit it. Yes. And then come back to and it. And they come, yeah, and, and then start. Like, you can start a text and then you'll be. Yep. <laughs> Only if it's going up a hill, it wouldn't go as far distance. Of course. Because yeah, it's going yeah, up a yeah, hill. Yeah. But you still will get up. Okay. You pull up your, 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 your hand bricks. You so you didn't get scared when the turtle shows up on the display. Because I know when you no get low, and the turtle don't show? The turtle, or the, the turtle the, show. The turtle show. Yeah, but you but didn't get scared. I don't get scared anymore. You don't get scared. Okay. Right. I, I feel like I can reach home. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's gonna take longer, but I'm gonna reach home. For people listening, the turtle is the low gas light for the electric car. They don't have low gas. It's not gas, so it's it's electricity. So they put a little turtle saying, "We're going to decrease your power so you can't go fast." Yeah. And that it's means you have uh you know maybe ten kilometers or something like that left in the. Yeah, it's like a warning sign. A warning sign. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, X-Ray, thank you for uh, stopping by. I uh, wanted to catch you while you were charging and uh, yeah. getting some, uh, some energy in there. Yeah. And uh, thank you again. Okay. Well, what would be nice now if um, you get charging spots in each district, you know? Yes. One in Grand Cars, one in French Quarter, one in Colby, one, you know, if you get that done. So here's, here's my idea. And this happened in the States eight years ago. Everybody who started buying the cars first, they always charged at home. Yeah. And then they would share with the other people oh. their house. Okay. Just like this man, um, Paul, who has a solar company, and right. he's sharing that charge with other people. Yeah. And nobody's come, even though there's so many electric cars yeah, on the yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, so we're hoping that we can bring this home, like a home network. Like okay, everybody says, oh, okay. I, yeah, I bought a car from him. And yeah, yeah, then yeah. that's what we're hoping we can do. So I'm just collecting information from okay, everybody. And, okay. and, and then we can possibly share, yeah. you know, and have that set up. Where I'm living, I don't mind if people come and charge. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. I, but I, but what, I'm, what neighborhood I'm, is this? That's Betty's Estate. Betty's Estate, okay. Betty's Estate as not going to St. Peter's. Okay. Yeah. And you have an outlet outside? Yeah, outside. Okay. That's where you charge. Uh, and, if, okay. and if somebody have a car like it and they want to plug up, I don't have no. I don't. Uh -huh. I know it don't really consume much much no, electricity. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. So I'm. Um, did you see how much? Did you see what change did you see in your your? your I haven't bill? seen a change. You didn't see a change in your bill. No. Okay. no but you see, yeah. it, it would be hard for me because my bill is on on a, on the whole oh, building. Oh. Okay. Okay. And on the building have apartments also. Got it. Okay. Okay. So I wouldn't able to check a difference. Okay. So it didn't show much on a building. No, it didn't. It how didn't many make, apartments in the building? Nine. Nine. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think the electric <laughs> car would change. Yeah, everybody if everybody had a car, if nine cars were there, maybe it would change. Maybe it would change. Well one yeah. car and a yeah. and a nine apartment building. Yeah, but what happened is each each apartment have their sub meter. Yes. Which I calculate we calculate ah, okay. each person built. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I wouldn't see much of a change. Mm -hmm. I really I don't think it makes a difference. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well that's good to know. Yeah. Well that's that's news that I'm sure that's news. For so everybody. anybody know where X ray live, um, you can if you have an electric car, come charge with me and get enough gas to go. All right. Enough well, charge to go. Excellent. Thank you very much, and you have a good night, Mr. X-Ray. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Bye-bye.